If you are planning to create and sell a Thrive Apprentice course all while drip feeding your course content to your students over a period of time, then keep on watching this video. So let's just say you are planning to sell your first course, which will be systematically dripped over a five weeks period of time and only to a certain group of students. So it will be available only for those students who purchase the course. You will first have to create the course, set up the correct drip template, add it to a product and also configure the access restriction options. So I've broken down this process into several easy steps that I'm going to be explaining one by one throughout this video. So let me just start here in this dashboard. So I have my Tribe Apprentice course published. It's already set up. I have five lessons that I'm going to be dripping to my students over the next five weeks. I will be starting with how to apply a drip schedule to your course and then I will be addressing the access restriction part at the very end after setting everything that needs to be set up here in this view. So drip is when you let your students access the course material in parts over time and create whatever kind of schedule fits your needs. So it will help you pace your students so that they do not feel overwhelmed with too much study material at once. Furthermore, you can keep your students engaged by delivering course content gradually. So you can deliver lesson one in week one, then lesson two in the following week, and so on. And you can basically add a structure to your course and give the students the possibility to consume material at their own pace. So just as already mentioned, first you need to set up and publish your Tribe Apprentice course. Any drip campaign that you would want to use here will not work if you have not previously published all your course content. Then you can proceed to adding your course to a product and as soon as you do that, you will be taken to this dashboard where you can set up various restrictions. But I'm going to come back to this later. For now, I've just created my product and I'm going to head back to my course content from here. So now let's set up the drip schedule. I'm going to be using the evergreen repeating campaign for this example as I want to unlock content at consistent time intervals for each student. Now, once you select your campaign template, you will be taken to this pop-up where you can tweak the settings for this campaign. Now, the campaign template already comes with the necessary settings, but you can still make adjustments if you want. And also, don't forget to name your campaign before actually creating it. So you can see here that my campaign, as it's currently set, will start dripping content when the user purchases the product. The content will be unlocked systematically on a weekly basis and the content that will be unlocked will be in the form of lessons. But of course, if I would also have modules, I could also unlock modules if I would want. And then let's just also give a name to this campaign and then click on create my campaign. Okay, so you can see here that this schedule unfolds and actually shows you what kind of content is unlocked at what time. So the first lesson is unlocked as soon as the student makes the purchase and then starting the second lesson, everything will be unlocked on a weekly basis. Okay, so the last thing that I'd like to cover in this video is regarding the settings that need to be set up at product level most specifically the access restrictions. So who gets access to what kind of content? And I've left this part at the end so that I would be able to show you how to get back to the initial access restriction tab that we saw after I first created the product. So from this left navigation bar, I'm going to click on product and then look for the newly created product, which is this one, Vector Art. Click on it and you will get back to this view where you can set up various settings at product level. So in other words, everything you set up here will only be applicable to this product in particular. Now, the first tab, of course, shows you what kind of content is currently tied to this product. You can add other courses to this product if you want or other type of content such as pages or posts, for example. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then next from this access requirements tab, you can decide what kind of checkout tool you want to use when selling this product or if the user needs to have a specific WordPress role in order to access it. So for this example, I'm going to be using Sandal and this is something that I've already set up prior to creating this video. And we have tutorials in our knowledge base that go into more detail about how to get started with your first Sandal product. So I strongly recommend checking those out as well. So let me just expand this Sandal product list and select my product. Okay, with the access requirements set, you can proceed to the next step, which is applying a drip schedule to your product. So up to this point, you've configured your drip campaign directly in your course dashboard, but in order to actually start dripping content, it would also have to be applied directly from this view. 
So this can be easily done simply by selecting it from here. And now lastly, in the access restriction rules tab is where you can decide what content to show the users who do not have the right permissions to access your course. So here you have the default site behavior selected, which is something that you can configure site-wide from here. You can have, for example, a general login and registration page for all your courses, and then a sales page. And you can even have a general content page that will be shown to all students who try to access a course that has stripped content and so on. But if you want to create something custom that's specifically made for this product in particular, then you can configure this at product level from here. So for example, for the user not logged in situation, I'm going to keep the default site behavior, which is redirecting the visitor to the login and registration page that I've set site-wide. And then for the drip situation, I'm going to be displaying a custom content that looks like this. Of course, this is something that you can further customize by using the Thrive Architect Editor. And then for the user that has not purchased yet the course, I'm going to be selecting a page that's custom made for this particular product. So I'm going to be selecting the redirect to custom page option and then look up my page. And this too is something that I've set up prior to creating this video. It simply has a button that links directly to the send out checkout process. And it looks like this. And as soon as somebody is clicking this button, that person will be redirected to the purchasing process. Now, if you're wondering where you can get the payment link for your Sendal product, that will be shown to you as soon as you create your product in Sendal. But you can also get it if you access the Sendal tab of your Thrive Apprentice settings and then head over to the purchase link card and simply select your product. And this will automatically generate an URL with your purchase link. So by now you should have a course that can be bought through Sendowl and that will drip feed content to your students systematically over a period of time. Now I hope this step-by-step -step tutorial was useful to you and easy to follow. As always, we do have other tutorials of this type available in our knowledge base if you want to learn more about our products and features. Lastly, don't forget to also check out our knowledge base for more detailed tutorials about all the features and options that I've mentioned throughout this video.